the Battle of Kumanovo or the Battle of Kumanovo on 23-24 October 1912 was a major battle of the First Balkan War. It was an important Serbian victory over the Ottoman army in the Kosovo Vilaye, shortly after the outbreak of the war. After this defeat, the Ottoman army abandoned the major part of the region, suffering heavy losses in manpower and in war materiel. Background the objective of the Serbian army plan was to destroy the Ottoman army in a decisive battle before the Ottomans could complete the mobilization and concentration of forces. The Serbian planners assumed that the main Ottoman force would be deployed defensively in the Valley of Vada and on the strategically important plateau of Ovce Pol. The aim was to double envelop the Ottoman army by using three armies. The Serbian commander-in-chief was General Radomir Putnik. First Army, under Crown Prince Alexander, composed of five infantry and one cavalry division, was deployed in the area around Vranj, with the task to attack the enemy frontally. Second Army, under Stepa Stepanovic, composed of one Serbian and one Bulgarian division, deployed in the area around Kush Tendal, was assigned to the easternmost attack with the objective of attacking the right flank of the enemy. Third Army, under Bosadar Jankovic, composed of four infantry divisions and one infantry brigade, deployed in two groups. The first one at Toplica, disambiguation needed, and the second one at Medvieda, was assigned to the westernmost attack, with the task to take Kosovo and then move south to attack the left flank of the enemy. Smaller units were sent to take Sandak. According to the initial Ottoman plan, created by Kolmar Fry von der Goltz, the Ottoman forces in Macedonia would stay in defense and, if necessary, retreat to Albania. The decisive battle would take place in Thrace, versus the Bulgarian army. However, Nazim Pasha, the newly appointed commander-in-chief of the Ottoman army, decided to surprise the Serbs by taking an offence in Macedonia. The plan also included the offence in Thrace. His goal was to win the initial battles against the surprised allies, hoping that the great powers would then intervene and stop the war. The Ottoman mobilization in Macedonia was slow, and the Ottoman Vardar army, led by Zeki Pasha, had little more than a half of its manpower mobilized when the war started. The army was composed of 5th Corps, under Seb Pasha, composed of four divisions, deployed in the area around Stip. 6th Corps, under Kavit Pasha, composed of two divisions, deployed in the area around Veals. 7th Corps, under Fet Pasha, composed of three divisions, deployed in the area around Kumanovo. Smaller units in Kosovo. Prelude. Even before the war was declared, border skirmishes occurred. On 15 October, the front of the Toplica group of the 3rd Army, Serbian Chetniks, acting on their own, attacked the Ottoman forces. Although the Serbian deployment had not been completed yet, the Ottomans counterattacked, but they were stopped by the Morava Division II. The fighting on the border lasted until 19 October when the Ottomans were forced to retreat. On 21 October the entire Third Army began its advance and on of October, without serious resistance, entered Pristina. On 18 October, Bulgarian 7th Ryler Infantry Division of the Second Army started its advance towards Gornadas Humayar, while the rest of the army advanced towards the village of Strasin and captured it on 21 October. The First Army crossed the border on 20 October and in the evening of the 22nd of October reached the outskirts of Kumanovo. At the other side, as soon as his forces were deployed, Zeki Pasha decided to take the offensive towards Kumanovo. In the evening of the 22nd of October, Vardar army gathered in the valley of PC Inja River. While Zeki Pasha had the precise information about the strength and disposal of the Serbian forces, 
The Serbian command did not realize that the battle with the main Ottoman force would start the very next morning. Not expecting the attack, Serbs did not fortify their positions, which were topographically strong. Still, only two out of five infantry divisions were deployed in the front echelon, Danube Division 1 on the left wing, with Cavalry Division behind it, and Mirava Division 1 on the right wing. The left flank was particularly vulnerable, because Esart Devica, the important topographic object, was defended by local irregulars. During the night of 22-23 October, 6th Corps cross PC in Durin took the position in the Ottoman center, on the hill of Zebran Jack. The main forces of 5th Corps remained on the left bank of PC Inger, forming the right of the Ottomans which was acting as a reserve and protecting the route from Strasin, while the main forces of 7th Corps were on the left side. Battle. The 23rd of October The morning of the 23rd of October was foggy, and reconnaissance could not be performed properly. On the Serbian left flank, the observers noticed the troops of 17th Infantry Division in movement, but mistook them for the Ottoman battery withdrawing from Strasin. Troops of the 18th Regiment of Danube Division 1, which moved forward to capture it, were pushed back, as well as the reconnaissance forces of Cavalry Division. Observing the retreat of these Serbian units, Zeki Pasha concluded that the Serbian left wing was weak. Since there were no actions of the Second Army from Strasin, he decided to attack. Around 1100, with artillery support, 5th and 6th Corps attacked the positions of Danube Division 1. Soon, 13th and 17th Infantry Division forced the 18th Regiment to retreat in disorder, but, instead of continuing the attack, Zeki Pasha waited for the arrival of Stip Infantry Division from the rear to use this division to attack the Serbian flank and rear. That enabled the Serbian 7th Regiment to aid the wavering 18th Regiment and to consolidate of defense. Soon after that, the Serbian 8th Regiment arrived, and 7th Regiment was able to move to the left flank and reinforce the defense of Esar Tevica, which was endangered by an attack by the Stip Infantry Division. On the right flank of Danube Division 1, its 9th Regiment halted the advance of the weakened Monastir Infantry Division. Around 1200 7th Corps started its attack on the positions held by Morava Division 1. However, Serbian infantry and artillery were already deployed for combat, as the artillery fire from the east suggested that the battle has started. After the initial Ottoman progress, Serbs counterattacked and pushed them back to their starting positions. After the Serbian counterattack, Ottoman units were kept at bay by the well-organized Serbian artillery fire until the end of day. The Serbian rear echelon divisions in the army artillery were not informed about the combat operations. They remained in the rear, without participating in the first day of the battle. The 1st Army Command did not receive precise information about the battle and did not have any influence on the actual combat. Despite these facts, the Ottoman attack of 23 October was not successful, mostly thanks to the high devotion of troops and lower officers. The 24 October uninformed about the situation in the field. The 1st Army Command did not realize that the attack of the main Ottoman forces had occurred, as those forces were expected on OVCE Pol. Assuming that the Ottoman units north of Kumanovo were merely forward detachments, it ordered the troops to continue their advance towards south, as previously planned, after midnight. It received a report from Danube Division 1 which stated that the division was attacked by the strong enemy forces and suffered heavy casualties. But at that moment it was too late for any change of orders. On the other side, Zeki Pasha decided to continue the attack with the hope that his forces would be able to achieve victory on the following day. The Ottoman attack on their right wing started around 5.30. 6th Corps was assigned to tie up as many enemy forces as possible by attacking from the front, while Stip Infantry Division was again assigned to flank attack. Danube Division 1 again had to withstand heavy pressure, but around 1000 parts of Danube Division 2 arrived from the rear and strengthened the defense. 
At the same time, cavalry division moved to the left bank of PC Inger and slowed the advance of Ottoman forces towards Esar Tevika. Around 1200 parts of Danube Division II reinforced the defense of Esar Tevika, definitely stopping the advance of the Ottoman right wing. On the left Ottoman wing, a lot of reservists from Uskub Infantry Division had deserted during the night. Upon hearing that the Third Army had captured Pristina and that it is marching towards Scorpia, still, at 5.30, Seventh Corps started the attack. However, Morava Division 1 counterattacked at 600 and with the arrival of Timok Division 2 from the rear they forced the entire Ottoman left wing to retreat. Around 9.30, Trina Division 2 from the rear echelon of the 1st Army arrived to the front and attacked the Ottoman center. Around 1100, Monastir Infantry Division started to retreat. The commander of 6th Corps managed to temporarily halt the Serbian advance by using his last reserves, but in the repeated attack around 1300, Drina Division 1 captured Zebranjak, the main object in Ottoman defense, and forced 17th Infantry Division to retreat. With Uskub Infantry Division and Monastir Infantry Division already retreating, the battle was resolved. At 1500, Morava Division 1 entered Kuminovo. Ottoman forces retreated in disorder. Seven and parts of 6th Corps towards Scorpio and V and parts of 6th Corps towards Stepan Veals. Serbian troops missed the chance to pursue them. Aftermath the Ottoman Vardar army fought the battle according to plan, but despite this, suffered a heavy defeat. Although Zeki Pasha operationally surprised the Serbian command by his sudden attack, the decision to act offensively against the superior enemy was a grave error which determined the outcome of Battle of Kuminovo. On the other side, the Serbian command started the battle without plans and preparations and missed the chance to pursue the defeated enemy and effectively end the operations in the region, although it had the fresh troops of the rear echelon available for such action. Even after the end of battle, the Serbs still believed that it was fought against weaker Ottoman units and that main enemy forces were on OVCE pole. Nevertheless, the Battle of Kumanovo was a decisive factor in the outcome of the war in the region. The Ottoman plan for an offensive war had failed, and the Vardar army was forced to abandon much territory and lost a significant number of artillery pieces without the possibility to reinforce. Because the supply routes from Anatolia were cut, the Vardar army was not able to organize the defense on Vardar River and was forced to abandon Scorpia, retreating all the way to Prelep. The First Army advanced slowly and entered Scorpia on 26 October. Two days later, it was strengthened by Morava Division II, while the rest of the Third Army was sent to Metahijar and then through northern Albania to the Adriatic coast. The Second Army was sent to aid the Bulgarians in the siege of Adrianople, while the First Army was preparing for an offense towards Prelep and Batola.